what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel uh, today we're gonna jump into our monster bass box um, I know it's at the end of the month I've been a little bit busy I say that all the time so I'm going to explain something really really quick so the last video that I made I explained to you guys that I was going on a vacation with the family which we did uh, we went to DeSoto, Missouri to a Holiday Inn Resort. Awesome place. If anybody is looking to have a nice little family getaway vacation, you don't really plan on going and seeing a whole lot of attractions and everything, DeSoto, Missouri is the place to go. The resort that we were on, it has its own private pond, lake, it was fairly, it was a nice size, so I'll say it was a lake. So you got your private lake. Uh, they've got like a little beach area for be, uh, beach volleyball. Uh, playground equipment for kids. Uh, they had a five-hole golf course. They also had a, a putt-putt course. Uh, of course, you got basketball courts, tennis courts, uh, shuffleboard, uh, swimming pool, of course as well as inside of the activity center they had all kinds of uh, video games and arcade games pool table ping pong table stuff like that so uh, like I said if you're looking for a nice little getaway um, the Holiday Inn Resort in DeSoto Missouri is a absolute fabulous place to go uh, in front of each one of the your rooms uh, they had uh, grills out there you go to the front desk and you can request uh, grilling equipment the grilling utensils and stuff and you can grill right there in front of your room so it was a really really amazing vacation I enjoyed myself my family enjoyed themselves um, I'm pretty sure we're gonna go back there again at some point so uh, I'll try to put some pictures at the end of this video I, I did go fishing out there in the lake uh, first time for me to throw a whopper plopper and I had a blast with it you know what I'll save that I'll do a video on that one with those pictures so I'll do another video sometime talking about the whopper plopper and I'll put some of those pictures in there so we'll just do it that way okay now before we jump into this video I want to thank two of my sponsors of course monster bass for uh, this wonderful bundle that you send out every month um, this is truly awesome I know there are other companies out there that do this y'all but monster bass is probably one of the best ones so jump down there click on the link get your monster bass uh, sponsor number two it's gonna be bucked up uh, bucked up is the um, supplement company that I have been using and been an ambassador for two two and a half years uh, right now what I have in here is their uh, bucked up IV and it's basically like uh, like the Gatorade uh, pouches that you can mix up in your big coolers and stuff for your sports games uh, bucked up IV is pretty much a hydration drink you mix it with your water and it's made from the pink Himalayan salt so it's really good for hydration uh, I got the great flavor in here right now so really really good flavor and it's really good for you. I also take their multivitamins as well as their melatonin. Uh, the melatonin is a, a sleep aid. Not that I have a problem with sleeping, but a very, very big part and big component in your uh, fitness goals is making sure you're getting plenty of rest and sleep. So I take melatonin to help me sleep because it helps you recover from your workouts and stuff. So. I take that along with the protein powders, their uh, BCAAs, their pre-workouts, uh, just a lot of their stuff. So I'll also leave a link for Bucked Up so you guys can uh, save you about 20% on your entire order and get you all kind of great, uh, great tasting. Let me throw that in there. Great tasting supplements that will aid you in your fitness goals whether that is you trying to be a professional bodybuilder or you're trying to maintain some kind of physical fitness for a job or just overall wanting to be healthy 
booked up is the place to go. Like I said, I'll leave a link down there in the description section. 20% off on everything that you buy there. Or if you just go to bookedup.com, use my code. I believe it is still Creed25 that will save you 20% also. Excuse me while I hydrate. It's been hot here in Arkansas, so I had to get myself rehydrated. And now let's jump into the June Monster Box. Like I said, I've had this for a while, y'all. It's just taking me a while to get out here. So as always, you have your booklet that has all of your information in it. Uh, I'm going to dig down here in the bottom because I want to pull out. So you get your ticket. Check in on Thursdays at... Where is it? 7. 7 p.m. Thursdays, 7 p.m. on uh, YouTube and watch the Monster Bash channel. If they call out your number, then you win all kind of prizes and stuff. Of course, your Monster Bash sticker. You know, they didn't do nothing too crazy or anything. Simple, but still likable. So, throw that back there. And let's jump into this box. So, like always, Monster Bass always packaged this thing up perfectly. So, uh, first look, I'm seeing a lot of topwater baits. I'm seeing a lot of shad patterns. So, we're, we're targeting the shad. And we're, we're probably going to be somewhere in between uh, that topwater and maybe middle column. And probably a little bit of bottom. So, let's see how good I am with this. So I'm going to pull this one. It is a buzz frog. So weedless frog. I think I have one of these from a different company. This one is a buzz frog. Uh, Margarita Rattler is the name of this. And it's from Blitz. Yeah, Blitz Lures. And this is their buzz frog. So basically... It's a soft, hollow body frog. Hooks look pretty good. It collapses really good. So those little feet, all you're doing is you're throwing this out and you're just doing a constant, steady, slow to medium speed retrieve. And these little legs, the way those paddles, they're gonna do all the work kicking on the water, causing all kind of commotion. And all you're doing is just watching and waiting for that moment, for that, that top water blow up. And all you got to do after that, give it about a two to three second count to give that fish time to come up, bite your lure, and then turn and go back down and then set the hook on that. Uh, let me see if they got this one in here in the book because uh, we always talk about, I say we, because like I said, I am an ambassador with them. Um, but Monster Bass always puts in here uh, suggestions for your gear, for your lures. Um, so this one is not, I don't know, is it? I don't know. Okay, so this one doesn't have it, but I would say whatever your uh, frog fishing rod is, so I think I've got the, um, oh, I cannot think of the name of that rod from Six Gill, but it is their frog fishing rod. I believe I have the uh, seven foot or maybe a seven and a half. It's a heavy action. I would probably throw this with about... 50 pound braid maybe maybe even 65 pound braid because you're going to be throwing that around a lot of vegetation grass lily pads stuff like that and when that fish is trying to get back into that cover you want that braid to cut through that grass so you, you want braid when you're fishing that um in all that thick vegetation so now i would say if you're throwing this probably around some uh some stumps and logs and stuff that might be in the water then I would go with a uh, fluorocarbon but um, probably 9 out of 10 you're gonna throw that with braid. The next 
I have is a hyperlastic. So this is also another uh, top water bait. Why y'all put staples in this? So the color of this one. I'm not seeing a color, but uh, it's a, definitely a shad color. And it has a propeller there on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that propeller there on the back. Um, I would probably work this like a spy bait. Um, I, did, I do notice that it has the swim bait hook. So this should be able to fish pretty weedless. I would probably fish this like the spy bait that has the props and just you know a nice little twitch uh, stainless steel washer stomper located on a slow retrieve the dark prop topwater develops a very seductive side to side build minnow action along with the flash and turbulence okay so never mind it um, just a steady retrieve throw this out and then steady retrieve on your uh, on the top on the surface I probably go a seven foot medium heavy action rod. Uh, probably throw that with 17, maybe 14 pound fluorocarbon. Um, I probably, I definitely wouldn't go no lower than 12 pound fluorocarbon on that. So trying to see if they had that one in here as well but I am not seeing it okay so since it's sitting right here in my face and I'm on that page now um, we have a Razor, or is this Razor Custom Tackle Sonic Buzz? So, this looks like a new company that makes buzz baits. Very, very unique design, and how that wire dips down. So, you probably have to flex it a little bit. yeah so when this is running this is going to get that a little bit down below the surface uh, this is a 3 8 ounce lure uh, it's made with a, four, a 5 aught mustad hook uh, has a lead bait keeper built into the bait right there nice looking buzz again as you notice the white and silver in there so again we're targeting the shad So, let's see here. For this lure here for buzz baits, uh, fishing it on the surface, throwing it around grass, tules or reeds, open water, riprap points, docks, and trees. Uh, your suggested gear, uh, a 7.4, uh, they've got monster bass lunker stick on here. So, about a 7.4, uh, I'm going to say medium heavy, 50 pound braid, 7.2 to 1 gear ratio. Uh, reel that way when you make those long casts you can take up that slack pretty fast so that way you can make another cast uh, let's see here next up we have I don't think we had a page on this one no. so we got here a bruiser bait uh, jerk bait it's a 110 millimeter and it's a half ounce. This is their Banger 110. And this is the Pro Blue is the color. You guys see that right there. So again, you're targeting shad. Uh, 
trying to see if it tells me a depth. And it doesn't. So, I don't know. Just remember with, uh, excuse me, with uh, jerk baits, uh, depending on your line size, I wouldn't go no lower than a 10 pound fluorocarbon. That will help you get down a little bit deeper. And as you go up in your test pound, then you're gonna bring that bait up a little bit more. So depending on what, where you're trying to target you know, fish, uh, the water column, that's gonna play a part in your, your line size. But you need to also remember, you need to have a rod that's very forgiving, a uh, parabolic rod. That way it gives and has a lot of bend in it because you don't want your line to break on you. So you want to make sure you've got the right size line to get you down to that depth of bait. But then you want to make sure that you've got a rod that's going to give you enough uh, play. So when those fish do try to dart off from you, then your line's not going to snap. You've got a rod that's going to give and has that, um, I'm going to say spongy like action that will give a little bit to keep those fish pinned uh, and not break your line or pull those hooks out of the fish's mouth. Okay, next up we have, and we've got a page on this one. This is Team Arc, and this is a natural shad popper, uh, 3 8 ounce. Not sure if this has. Well, it's got some rattles. Okay. Come here. Mm. It's got some rattles in it. This is a nice color. Uh, a little bit of translucent. I can see through that. So, that thing looks pretty good. I know normally I say I can't wait to go fishing to try this out, but right now I am uh, waiting to go get some tires for my trailer. The last time I went fishing and I had a blowout as soon as I got back to the house and I am just now getting those rims dropped off to get tires put on and things have gotten very hectic. So. Next week, I will get my tires put back on my boat and hopefully get out on the water, use some of these. Uh, the popper here, again, your, your depth of water that you're fishing is on the surface. You want to throw this around grass, tules or reeds, open water, riprap, docks, rocks, and trees. Your suggested uh, gear, seven foot, probably a medium, uh, medium rod. 30 pound braid or 14 pound monofilament because uh, floor fluorocarbon does sink uh, braid floats and monofilament so uh, monofilament floats so 30 pound braid 14 pound monofilament with a 6.6 .6 to 1 gear ratio uh, to me that's that low medium speed reel so not too fast you're not going to you know reel it out of that strike zone uh, of course with poppers you're making small twitches with your rod tip down you're not trying to move the lure with the reel all the movement is coming from the rod tip so next up yes we have big bite baits uh, kamikaze swim split tail uh, this color is called a flamethrower Uh, you can use that as a trailer, maybe a, maybe on that buzz bait or a swim bait, maybe a swim jig, a chatter bait or something. Uh, they're 4.25 inches and this is a pack of seven. So yeah, I would probably put this on the back of like a, a red chatter bait or something like that. Something with some red in it. Uh, with a smaller hook, you might be able to uh, do some finesse fishing with this. Maybe a, a drop shot. And last, 
but not least, we have some vicious fishing toads. Uh, no specific color. Now, I believe there was a page on this one. Yes. So the toad here, it's going to be, again, you're fishing this on the surface. Uh, throwing it around grass, tules or reeds, brush piles, open water, riprap, uh, mats, matted vegetation, docks, and trees. Suggested gear or 7.4 medium heavy uh, rod, 50 pound braid, 7.2 to 1 gear ratio for your bait caster. Uh, pair this up really nice with some, uh, we have some 4 aught hooks from keeping it, keeping you hooked. Uh, sandbar tactical or sandbar tackle, excuse me, sandbar tackle, uh, EWG worm hooks. And this is basically suggesting you throwing this out and reeling it over the surface. Again, it has those uh, boot tail style legs that will kick in the water, causing all kind of commotion. So you could probably even put this on a buzz bait as a, as a buzz bait trailer and see what you can get with that so as always if you want to know how much you are saving by getting a monster bass box look these lures up on tackle warehouse compare the prices from tackle warehouse to the $35 that you will be paying for your monthly subscription for monster bass and I'm pretty sure you will you know easily find out that you're saving a ton of money by getting this every month also you get introduced to all kind of new baits through this stuff. Stuff that you would walk into the tackle shop and walk right by some of this stuff. You get it in your monster bass box and you try it out and you catch a ton of fish. And next thing you know, you're stocking up your tackle box with more of those baits because you had so much fun. So, uh, yeah, click the link. Uh, get you a monster bass box. I do believe they still have their promotion going on. When you pay for a three month subscription, you'll get that fourth month for free. So click the link, sign up, get your subscription, or you can just go to the Monster Bass store. Uh, a lot of the lures that you get in your Monster Bass box, they do have it on their store that you can purchase. So if there is a lure that you got in a box and you want to get more of those, head on over to MonsterBass.com, click on the store, and you can find the lures there as well as signing up to get your subscription. Uh, thanks for watching. Please make sure you uh, smash that thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, if you like the video, and I must say, uh, a lot of my views are coming from people that aren't subscribed. So please help your boy out. Subscribe to the channel. Help me grow. And uh, that way I know that you guys are liking what I'm doing and I can keep putting out more stuff for you. So smash that thumbs up if you like the video. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think. If you got suggestions on how, you know, something I could change up, hey, drop me a comment. I don't care. I take any and all kinds of criticism as well as somebody else's uh, creative critiques. So drop a comment. Make sure you punch the hell out of that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notified every time I put out my videos. And like I said, Smash that thumbs up button if you guys like the video. So that's all I got for this month's Monster Bass. Can't wait to see you guys for next month's Monster Bass as well as when I get back out there on the water. Uh, I got some other things to talk to you guys about on my, my tactical side of things. So I will get that out to you as soon as I can. But for now, I got to go. Thank you all. Love you all. See you all in a great outdoor.